Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne. This is uh, the parable of the unprepared builder. Uh, this is uh, one parable out of 54 parables that I'm going to teach on. Uh, they'll be available on a playlist called The Parables of Jesus Made Simple. This is actually number 49 out of 54, so I'll be finished the 54 today. Um, I am the author of uh, 57 self-published books um, available on Amazon under the name Matthew Robert Payne. I'm also the author of 850 articles under the name Matthew Robert Payne on ezine articles, E-Z-I-N-E articles.com and uh, I'm the creator of over two and a half thousand videos here on YouTube under the name Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, I'm, I consider myself a teacher of the Word of God. I'm also called to be a prophet. This is uh, one of 54 parables that I've mentioned and uh, they'll shortly be available in a book. So let's go to the teaching and uh, have a look at uh, what uh, is going to be said. So I'll just go to the text. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost and whether he has enough to finish it, lest after he has laid the foundation, he is not able to finish. All who see it begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Have you ever uh, been driving through a suburb uh, have you ever been uh, driving through your city a certain place in your city a suburb in your city and seen a building that was half finished but seems to have been abandoned uh, sometimes sometimes uh, financing uh, sometimes a loan some sometimes something happens to a building company and uh, the building company uh, becomes bankrupt but sometimes buildings are left uh, for years half built uh, that's what jesus is talking about here uh, but he he was referring uh, this uh, to the christian life uh, jesus started uh, uh, three parables and where he talked about counting the cost the first one he said uh, unless you hate your mother brother sister brother, wife, children, lands, possessions, for my sake, you're not worthy of me. And then he went on to do this one. Now, when you hate your mother, father, sister, brother, lands, possessions, it's not hate, but uh, love less, love a whole lot less. In, in other words, be prepared to leave your mother, father, sister, brother, uh, wife and child and uh, possessions and land be prepared to leave all of that and go overseas to serve God. Uh, and if you're not prepared to do that, uh, you're not one of his kingdom. Then he comes into this uh, story, to this parable, and says this. Now, you may not be aware of this. Uh, you may be living your Christian life uh, not aware of this, but... Non-Christians or people that you would call non-Christians, a lot of people are believers, but they just don't go to church. But non-Christians, people who don't go to church, laugh at Christians. That that They actually mock Christians. Uh, because Christians uh, have said a sinner's prayer and say that they believe in Jesus, but they don't act like Jesus. They're, they're not transformed. Uh, so many Christians, so many of us uh, have got bad attitudes. Uh, we we uh, take time off from work. We we, we 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 don't work responsibly. We don't come to work on time. We don't work properly. We gossip with the rest of people. We watch pornography. Uh, we we watch the same shows. We go to the same movies. Uh, we have the same clothes. Everything's the same except the fact that we reckon we're going to heaven. And, uh, and so um, this parable is saying that uh, the average person knows that we've got an unfinished building. The average person uh, knows that uh, we may confess Christ, but we're nothing like him. 
and uh, they, they're laughing at the average Christian. Uh, that's why they say, uh, I don't have to go to church uh, to uh, be a Christian. That's why they say, I believe in God and I pray to him every night and I don't have to go to church to become a Christian because they don't want to be part of our religion. And when you boil it down, when when you really have a close look at it, that that is pretty much the only difference between a Christian and a non-Christian is they go to church on Sunday. Uh, Barna research uh, did research into uh, the the habits, the buying habits, and the television habits, and the entertainment habits of um, of uh, people, and they found that the only discernible difference uh, between Christians and non-Christians was that Christians went to church on Sunday. That was the only difference. Um, and that's why the non-Christians say that they don't want to go to church is they don't want to be infected with our virus. And uh, that may be hard uh, for you to hear or understand, but gives a lot of understanding uh, in a, to the place that these people find themselves. They, they don't believe that they should get their, your religion into them. They, they find uh, you offensive. They find us offensive. They, they find things in us that they don't want. Uh, chief among them is hypocrisy. Uh, we say one thing and we do another. And so when a, when a non-Christian does something, that's hurtful when when they do something that requires our forgiveness they want to see us forgive they test us they poke us they push us and prod us to see if we're different to other so-called christians that they've met and if we're not different they laugh and they mock us and they say well he's just the same as us uh, there's no difference in him so Many people would, would look at this parable and say, well, I've never built a building. I've never been building a building. I've never uh, finished a building. So how does this relate to me? Well, many Christians have half built their Christian life. And we've covered uh, parables like the sheep and the goats. And uh, many Christians don't uh, measure up as a sheep where they should. Uh, we've covered the a parable of the good shepherd and how the good shepherd, uh, the sheep, hear Jesus' uh, voice and uh, they follow him. And uh, most Christians can't hear the voice of Jesus and most Christians don't behave like Jesus. So there's parables that support this case that uh, the majority of Christians have got half-built buildings and uh, they're, they're supposed to be little Christ, which Christian means little Christ, but they're far from Christ. Uh, their their uh, behaviour, their personality, their actions are far from Christ-like. And uh, this is what people see and this is why they laugh and they mock Christians and they call them hypocrites and they say uh, Christians are religion, uh, you know, uh, are religious and I'm, I'm not religious. They, they say, they say quite clearly to you, I'm not religious. In other words, I don't go to church and I don't pray and I don't believe in all that stuff. And uh, it's plausible. They've got real reasons not to believe in that stuff because they've seen hypocrites, they've seen religion and they want no part of it. Uh, so I hope uh, this has um, brought some clarity to you. Um, of course, this, this isn't going to affect you uh, if uh, this isn't going to affect you if you don't think this is true of you. Uh, you can't uh, come to a place of repentance. You can't uh, come to a place where you're going to change your life around uh, if, if you don't agree with what's being said. If, if you think that uh, you're a great Christian and you're a great witness and you're, you're a, a great example of Jesus Christ, very good. Well, then this parable doesn't apply to you. But uh, if you see that there may be cracks uh, in your shell, if, if you see uh, 
if you uh, see some revelant, revelant uh, things that I've said uh, in this parable, you need to make the changes. You need to uh, make uh, the changes to change yourself um, and better align yourself with who Christ is. And I've mentioned the three books uh, that you can read uh, uh, a number of times, so I won't mention them, but I encourage you uh, to read those books and uh, um, make yourself into a person who, change yourself into a person who is a good witness. If uh, you enjoyed this uh, video, press uh, thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, press thumbs down. Um, if uh, you want to um, comment on this video and encourage me, please do. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to the channel by pressing uh, the subscribe button, then the bell, then the words all. Um, I, I hope that you're encouraged and I pray that uh, you can make the required changes to become a little Christ. God.